Choji butterfly form. Haven't drawn Choji at all on this channel, and I've been what doing this for nearly five years now. So, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> so let's draw him. Um, it's kind of like skinny Choji, but yeah, he's like he uses his energy stored to make these cool butterfly wings. Landscape page pencil weight eraser hit pause if I go too fast. So he's kind of looking at us sort of side on. Three quarter pose, right? So we'll start with his eye. His head's over to the left. Center point of my page is about here. So the head will be over to the left and then we have this wing and some of his long hair, okay? So <clears throat> let us start with the eye. So typical Naruto, eye up, across, like so. And then it kind of like comes down to a point there. Bottom of the eyelid comes across like that. And you can thicken up the top eyelid a little bit if you'd like. It's totally optional, of course. Just make it spiky at the front, that's the main thing. Right, so then Iris, he's kind of looking at us from so he's turned, so he's looking, the eye is like over this side and they're kind of like long eyes, they're not. So Iris kind of comes up from the bottom and down. And he seems to just have kind of brown eyes. There's no pupil in there that I can see. So kind of frowning pretty heavily, we just have this eyebrow line that goes up this way and it goes underneath his headband. So we just have to like add a section you can color in. It's just an extra line. And then maybe another frown line here and here. Well, in terms of eyelid lines, there isn't one, but I'm gonna add one. So three quarter pose, that means we can see his nose just in front of his eye, right? So the nose line kind of like curves down and across like so. And then the tip of the nose comes down around here. He's got a kind of a round nose. Then we can see a nostril like so. And just the skin of the nostril on the back like that. So his eyebrow just comes out from the top of this nose line on this side. And then you just want to add a space that you can color brown. And then his eye, eyelid. So this is the smaller eye now. It's hidden sort of in behind his eye here, top eyelid. And then the bottom eyelid, like so. And then he's looking over to the left. Like so. Uh, I will add a top eyelid line. I think the drawings of faces look better when they have that eyelid line. Sometimes the they don't actually do that. So, but I I just like doing it. It's a me thing. So, <laughs> mouth. So again, three quarter pose, right? So you have this. The mouth is a stretched out letter M. Okay, but this side is going to be smaller. So you'll go up, down back up and then this side is longer than that side so it's like an optical illusion is basically what you're doing this part of his face is turned away and the center line of his face is here so everything on that side of the center line is smaller than the other side okay it's the main thing to remember and then the bottom lip line just a sort of a curved line here and then his chin down there so we leave a bit of a gap and then his jaw just comes up and over to there you can leave the gap or not you can connect them if you want it then we can see a little bit of his neck just coming down here 
and then the side of his face on this side we can see a cheek and a brow okay because you know no jaw on this side because it's turned away so we basically carve it out this way and then it goes around his cheek and in okay and then this curves in towards the corner of the eye and then around for his eyebrow so it just goes in this way and then bumps out there okay So he's got all these kind of red lines and things on his face. Now they're done red, the spirals are especially. So, so he's got one on his cheek here. Now you can change the color afterwards, like especially if you're just drawing with pencil, which I recommend. So one spiral there. And then he's like another one on his cheek, you can just see the edge of it. So just going around there. And when he's in this form, he seems to have little red lines here as well, around the corners of his eyes. Like that. Okay, so then we have his hair just sticking down here, a hairline just for a little spike just above the jaw. And then the ear comes out from there connecting that to the bottom of his face here. He wears an earring in his earlobe. And then ear lines, letter J is the easiest way. And then you can add more if you want. So his headband just curves around his head here. spike two of them and then he's got some longer hair coming down the back of the neck like so then metal headband curves around the edges back in you could get depending on what sort of headband you want to give him also um, you could do the war one or, you know, the ninja spiral. Ninja spiral is probably easier. Like that, the leaf village. Like so. Then the back of his neck just comes down here. And then we have hair spikes. So his butterfly sort of energy covers all this whole space, but it's kind of transparent. So you can see his hair through it, right? Or at least that's what it looks like to me anyway. It's real long and you can add like texture lines if you want, of course, to all that. But in narrative, they don't really do that. It's just like shaded brown. Right, and then, so his collar comes around here. He's got that red uniform, kind of bumps down the back. He's got like a zip line here coming down the front. 
and then his shoulder goes that way on that side this way on this side and we got he's got a big metal breastplate chest armor well body armor really just covering the whole front side of his body and this has straps that go up onto his shoulders Let me give him a neck neckline that way too and then armor here it's kind of like Madara's armor kind of these nuts and bolts that sort of hold it all together all right and then armpit lines so this just goes down a bit further and then he has um his like sort of symbol that's on his chest so it's like a house with an x at the bottom is that right no, it's different than that actually Okay, well, okay, I'll do it in black. It is all red, so we can change the color. So we'll go around first. Right. And then, okay, so. So there's this line that continues around. It's like a double, gets skinnier there. Around like that. That's all red inside. So there's another triangle here. So like some of these actually connect together all red inside two rectangles Something like that. It's kind of red inside. So, this butterfly energy then that comes out from behind his wings. So, out from behind his shoulders, should I say. So, we're going to just go. And I kind of, you can kind of see through it. So, we're going to just draw right over the hair. That way. And then the inside of it kind of like just curves in. And down that way. So it's got like some energy coming down here as well. And then it comes out from the top on the other side. Just going all off that way. And behind the head on this side. Okay, and then there's all these blue sort of shining patterns on it. So like darker blue. shapes yeah 
So like spiraling sort of S shapes and all blue and light blue energy. Lines. Going that way. And that's just like blue, so that's hair. And then some more sort of all up here. Like so. And then, so all blue here, brown hair, and then blue behind the hair. So that's it. Choji, butterfly. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.